so i'll be happy to take every one of you through some uh, like writing some code and like uh, getting into how you can contribute into open mrs3 okay. so basically uh, if i if i share the basic architecture of the uh, the o3 it's basically that uh, we have a system here which has multiple layers and then in the end it has micro front ends so the basic architecture of open mrs3 is built on micro front ends so micro what are micro front ends micro front ends are basically uh, the small apps the small not no uh, node apps which can be connected into the uh, into the main o3 uh, like a plug uh, plug and play system right so what we will be doing is that we will be diving into the o3 development with this open mrs3 uh, template app that i am sharing the link to and i'm also sharing the uh, the instructions to get uh, started on this what you can do now since we are moving ahead with git pod okay so please uh, go back to uh, gitpod.io gitpod.io and in here you can click on new workspace and copy and paste the link of the the repo that i have shared in the chat uh, right in, inside this input box here and let's uh, select the system large again uh, okay and let's just continue right so once we uh, come dive into the git pod git pod uh, will automatically install all the packages that we have in the application let me just zoom in a bit i guess okay so git pod automatically installs all the packages i hope okay in the meantime i'll be happy to explain one thing that we we will be using in in this uh, in this presentation uh, which is the extension slots and extensions so uh, when we talk about extensions so what are extensions extensions are basically the basic code uh, code uh, snippets you can say or the or a particular code which uh, which is ready which you can uh, basically plug into the extension slots extension slots in simple words are basically like places where you can add those extensions to right so let's move ahead and to to use this git pod in your local vs code please click on the bottom left corner and in the git pod please select the open in vs code this will open uh, just click click on open and this will open the same workspace that you have here locally on your vs code after that after coming on your local uh, local vs code you click on ports and you can see localhost 8080 in here click on the click on the it localhost 8080 and it will direct you to localhost 8080 and then add open mrs slash spa to the path and it will take it will bring you to the o3 ui okay uh, moving into the application i'm logging with the credentials admin and admin 123 right after i log in after i log in you can see this view here right what we will be doing here is that we will be trying to replicate this visit ta table yes uh, what we can do what we will do is that we will try to replicate this visit table uh, and add it in here right so just uh, just a few minutes before i shared with you two things in here uh, one is was extension slots and one is extensions right so to view all the extensions slots that we have on the application you can click on this wrench icon on the primary navigation and once it's open you can you can toggle on the ui editor after you toggle it on you can close it and all the highlighted spaces that you see those are the extension slots that we have in the application and these are these are the different extensions uh, we can say like, like this home link this patient link this appointments link and this is the service queues link these are all extensions which is attached to this extension slot right the same thing we have here with the search with the create new patient uh, user icon and the wrench icon that we saw so these are all attached as a as an extension to the to these extension slots and you can see the name of the extension slots here 
the extension slot that we will be working on will be home page widgets slot so what we will be able to do is that we will create a similar table to this the active visits table and we will uh, be able to attach that particular table in in here below this list this this code is coming from a different micro front end and we can just use the concept of extensions and extension slot to achieve this to get into it what we will do is that we will go to the esm template app and in here in here i will go to the index.ts right alongside in the source folder i will create a new folder active visits widget okay widget and uh, sorry yes and in here active visits table dot component dot tsx so we create a we create a react component in here so i'll just uh, import react from react and i'll just create a new function with let's say active visits table right and i'll uh, and what i'll just do is that i'll just return uh, a header in here which is h1 hello world right and i'll just export this table in here, this component in here export with active visits table sorry active visits uh, sorry this one like this okay after i save this what i i will do is that i will go to the index.ts and i'll just import that table in this so export const <clears throat> uh export const uh, active visits table which i can uh, get from get async i know you might not uh, might not be getting the exact thing what we are trying to do but this will give you an overview of how we usually uh, do the development so get async life cycle will basically uh, have a have a callback function which will call which will import our active visits table right so sorry dot slash active visits visit slash active visits table dot component and i'll just pass options here right okay <clears throat> so what we have done uh, till now is that we have created a component which says hello world and i have created a visits uh, i have imported that uh, component in the index.ts now my next part is to get that particular hello world component in here right that's a very simple step that's not something we have to do much a lot about so what we can do now is that we will go to routes.json right and in here we can add a new extension we have this extensions array in here so we will just add a new extension here which is uh we will give it a unique name uh active visits visit table right and i will give it uh, and uh, the component for this will be the exact name that i gave gave it here in the index.ts so it's active visits table so i'll just give the same uh, name here the variable name here as a string and uh, the slot for this would be home page widgets slot home page widget slot so that's it i uh, that's it what we have done till now is that we have created a react component which says hello world right we have imported that in the index.ts inside the src folder and we have add uh, sorry this should be import sorry yes we have imported it here uh, and we have given the path to that component and using the same variable here we have assigned this extension we have created assigned this extension 
giving it a unique name and assign it to the slot of home page widget slot is there any doubt in here okay let's try to run this to uh, to see our changes what we will have to do is that we have to stop the server that was running before since we have made the change to routes.json and index.ts we have to stop our server and then start our server again so i'll just clear this out and then yarn start again this will have my changes in here and now we can skip that i guess and once it uh it's completed completely compiled okay so once it's uh, compiled here we uh, after i can refresh my local host uh, browser in here and i should be able to see my result here so on the home page app see i am able to see the whole hello world in here so i so what i have done right now is that i have created an extension and i have attached it to this home page widget slot extension extension slot and as a developer it's very much easy to add new extensions into a slot so i guess uh, you are happy to see this in here uh, the slot name has to be ref has to be referred to the existing slot because it what it will do is that it will find the slot uh, which is ex like it will find the slot when it's registered and it will uh, render itself there so, uh, we can also pass the order in the slot so we can also pass the order like we can have this hello world at the top uh, passing the order key in inside the routes.json that i guess i won't be taking uh, care of but uh, you can for you can you can refer to the schema uh, at the top that you have and uh, know more about the routes uh, routes.json schema and what all we like we support <laughs>